Ho viewers, what am I doing? This is probably the naughtiest I've ever been on the entire channel. This is a 2017 Chevrolet Corvette. It is the Z51 model and it's done less than 2,000 miles. Welcome to Contingency Reviews. So the C7 generation of Corvette, my gosh it's loud in here, the C7 generation of Corvette was introduced in 2014. I believe um, that um, you could start getting these in this country from around 2014 or 15. They were sold over here uh, through the one dealership in Surrey where you could buy one new. There was a second dealership in Manchester for servicing called e uh, the main one there, Virginia Waters in Alan Motors. This is the very rare seven speed manual version and um, it feels really strange changing hands with this <laughs> changing gear with this hand here fortunately I've got a head display and actually that's really useful for it I, I cannot see the speedo at all um, where it is so that's fine the versions we got in this country there are only two of them uh, both badges of Stingray were the Z51 like this one, which is I think a more performance oriented version than the standard ones you could buy elsewhere in the world. And then also the uh, Z06 that had even more power. So 6.2 V8 has 460 horsepower. Whether you went for the 7 speed manual or the 8 speed auto, produced in the later cars by I think about sort of 2015 16 is when the um, 8 speed auto came in. Earlier cars would have had a, a six speed also apparently the six speed auto is more reliable than the eight speed one Nord 60 in this is an insane insane 4.2 seconds 4.2 seconds if you wanted to go really crazy though the z06 model well that had uh, 650 horsepower 650 horsepower We've also got the quiet exhaust on. Later on we'll um, be playing around with some of the active exhaust things, which is good. I'm also driving quite slowly because um, we drove a bit faster earlier on and I don't think anybody would have been able to hear me. we also notice the camera is wobbling a fair bit. That's just uh, the way that it goes, I'm afraid. I apologise for the uh, wind noise here, as, um, I'm afraid that is uh, sort of annoying, but uh, here we are up on the moors above Huddersfield and that's just what it does up here. This car has less than 2,000 miles on it, uh, which is crazy. Um, the press cars at the time would have probably had more, but it is absolutely immaculate. Um, and I'm privileged to drive this. I had to actually get special insurance to drive it because a lot of the usual things um, that I would use in this instance to <laughs> cover it, but managed to do that, which is good. Colour's called Black Rose, um, apparently. It looks sort of purple to me, but apparently it's different, different light. Interior is called Kalahari. Um, it is the Mulan leather as opposed to the Napa leather, which is bizarre. So, Doors also open in quite a bizarre way. There's no physical button anywhere else. Well, I mean, there's a physical button, but it, it's all electronic. You don't really need to touch it. Um, that's how you get out by pressing that one there. All the, the C7 calls that sold in this country uh, left hand drive. There was only one dealer who could buy this from Ian Adam Motors, which is in Virginia, which I'm sorry, although there is a place to get serviced in Manchester, which is a lot closer to here. But so get in, it's quite low, you've got to watch yourself on this, you don't smash your head on that as you get in. Um, fortunately Arthur, it won't just a bit taller than me, so that's handy. So we've got a 7 speed manual on this, it's one of the only a few cars I've ever seen that actually has that. Um, and um, it's a very rare specification anyway, this is the Z51 model, um, which is one of two variants sold in this country, the other one was I think the Z06. So we've got quite a few things in here. I'll have to grab the key in a second and we'll, we'll have a look at them. But um, yeah, call that Stingray. Trap mode selector. Electronic handbrake, which is a pain. Um, but there we go. 
that feels quite nice, but this one, for some reason, I don't know why, it just doesn't feel very nice because it was a £66,000 car back in the day, and it's still worth, you know, quite a lot of that, given how low mileage it is. Head up display, we'll have a look at that in a bit. Um, mirror controls and exactly the same indicator and wiper stalks as on the two Chevy Cruises I used to own. Isn't that nice, viewers? Um, there is actually a glove box, there's also a screen, and um, that's cunning, we'll have a look at that in a moment. And there is a storage compartment here with USB ports. There's also a glove box here. I don't think any secret mission documents are going in there, though, unfortunately, viewers. And there are actually some door pockets, which is which is nice. Um, yeah, and then you've got a tiny, tiny little screen there for the passenger to adjust their own temperature on the climate control. Which is, I suppose, nice as well, because that's what they want to do. Uh, yes, we have got rev matching um, on this. These would be the pedals if you have the 8 speed automatic. We don't, we've got the 7 speed manual, but that is rev matching, which is fun. Uh, we've also got cruise control, of course, and um, a speed limiter there. We've also got uh, Bluetooth for the, the stereo and things like that, and um, some favourite buttons and uh, the volume controls. Got some things here as well for um, opening. I think it's a bonnet release just there. Um, yeah, it's fun, isn't it? It's quite comfy as well. It's a very low drying position and got tiny sun visors, tiny little mirrors which are illuminated, and then electrochromatic mirror as well. What a Bose sound system! Brilliant. Um, right, should we have a look at the, uh, at the engine views? Yes, 1933 miles. It appears I spoke too soon views. That button's actually for the luggage compartment. Now, if you were to have the roof up, it would be about 243 litres, but we've got the roof down today because it's a nice day, and so it's 171. You have to have this sort of bit here in place for the, the uh, roof to actually operate, which is standard for a lot of these things. I think that's the emergency trunk release. How on earth you get a person into there? I don't know, but that's what they mandate in America. Styling is, is, is quite nice. Obviously, the car's mainly fiberglass. Some, some panels are not. The bonnet's carbon fibre, for example. And we've got quad exhausts. Mm. <laughs> and they actually make a variable sound, which is nice. Right, well, I'll have a look at the engine as well since we are here and you say well that bonnet looks a bit light well uh, it, <laughs> it is it's carbon fiber so the lt1 engine 6.2 liter v8 overhead valve engine generating in this application about 460 horsepower it's actually a dry sump engine so the oil goes in here and that's the dipstick just over here which is extraordinary um yeah i mean if you've only done 1,933 miles since you bought the car about seven years ago, then you might not need too much in the way of servicing, but uh, here it is anyway. Oh, yeah, it's the ABS pump down there. Yeah, everything just looks like new, because this, this car lives in the garage. <laughs> and so it's not really been many places. So I, I'm a very, very happy man today. No wonder this is the 11,000 subscriber special for Opportunities like this just to, uh, go, don't come along every day, do they? Right, let's uh, let's get in. We need, we need to have a look at some of these um, features and the infotainment system. So, bump my head getting in. Oh, oh dear. No wonder the bolster's actually got wear on it after 933 miles. You've got to sort of limbo your way into these. So, let's put the key there, key the sentry. So, start the engine. It's in what's called stealth mode at the moment. Now, we might actually so put that into neutral. We might actually be able to vary it. So, we've got things like Android Auto, Apple CarPlay, um, we've got performance data recorder. This is interesting. So, when this actually loads up, we might be able to see some files. Um, we don't want to start that at the moment. Go away. Um, recorded sessions. Let's have a little look at what it looks like. I, I might actually, if I can, use some of the footage from previous sessions in here. So this is actually just um, to get you an idea. It's a very quick clip here. 
um, actually got some sound and um, yeah that was just it starting up that's not particularly interesting let's, uh, let's try this other one here there we go so you can see it you can see it's definitely working and um, it's quite handy You've got g-force on there and accelerate acceleration and brake on top of there um, that's actually the gear rev and things like that steering angle and all sorts of things right let's um, stop that a second is Oh, it's so exciting! <laughs> Viewers! Why am I so excited about this? See, the USB port is in there and you can hide things in there. Um, that's exciting, isn't it? Let's go back and also we'll look at some other stuff in here because we have got another whole thing in there. We've got front cameras, you can see. We've got a rear camera, um, which is exciting. That's the front, that's the back the lines on if we want them there we go it's just yeah I don't know why I'm so excited but I just I just am um, it's got driving mode it's got valet mode something we have got though if I can actually operate this it's a bit annoying this system actually let's try it's got Android Auto Apple CarPlay as well vehicle uh, right, I might have to sort of fiddle around with this and see we get get the uh, active exhaust so give me a second Right, engine sound management. So we're on stealth at the moment. You can do it automatic. So we've got stealth. What's it, what does this sound like? That's what stealth sound like. Let's try tour. Ooh. Okay, sport. <laughs> track oh. now you, you could get a Z06 to put back on the stealth um, otherwise we'll get complaints you could get a 650 horsepower version of this engine in this country as well do you need it? I don't know steering oh yeah so, so we got that um, tour sport and track got a mode selector generally here as well so I think it actually operates on here we, we need to take that off eco because apparently this car has got cinder deactivation and that can go wrong so if you don't put it in eco you don't get that we'll leave it in tour let's try the head-up display which is down there so you can actually it's very very difficult to film this but you might be able to see I'm just adjusting the height of it so I can see it and I have it about there um, see, just so it, see it moving. It's very hard to see from here, but trust me, it's there. Um, so, what other things we, can we have on here? We've got the speedo to the left. The rev counter's in the middle, which is a virtual rev counter. Um, and we've got trip computer average fuel of twenty two point eight. Not too bad. Twenty three fuel range V eight. Mm, oil life. Yeah, don't need servicing for a while. Tire pressure. Um, don't know why we're looking at that. 78.9 gallons. Engine hours, lifetime revs. I mean, in the speed in the middle if you want that, but that's sort of it. I don't know what to leave that on actually. Uh, yeah, fuel economy, and we've got um, oil there as well. No, sorry, that's not oil, that's just an engine. I'd expect more kind of things, and you do get them. There's the oil pressure gauge and the oil temperature gauge. There they are, sorry I was being stupid there. Um, right, I think, there we go, we can see the uh, temperature display there for the passenger for the air conditioning. I think, yeah, we might turn this off a second because it's a very expensive engine to run. Might have a look at um, what this car looks like with the hood up and down. I don't mean the bonnet, I mean the roof.
So, apart from being on the other side of the car and having the gear lever here, what's it actually like? The steering is an electric system, and I wouldn't have initially expected that because it feels it feels all right actually. You do feel a sense of connection with the car, which is of course what you need. This car was around sixty-six thousand pounds new, and it's um, because it's such low mileage, it's it's not really depreciated very much. I do feel very self-conscious driving this though. I feel I feel like I kind of don't quite belong in something like this, but um, you know, it is it is fun, and I uh, I am enjoying it. Um, up at the top, when we got on the sixty mile an hour road, I did get into six, although seventh gear I'd imagine was really only for like the motorway, just to keep revs down a little bit. I don't think you really need that an awful lot. It's not quite as bad um, driving through town as I as I expected actually. It's a little bit firm, and you know the, the camera is probably wobbling around a fair bit, but it's just the way that it goes. Um, yeah, no it. I've driven very, very few left-hand left -hand drive cars in this country. I've driven quite a few abroad, but not over here. And it is something to um, it's something to get used to. Right, we'll have a little bit of performance here. We just come out of the 30 limit. Ooh! <laughs> yeah, I mean, we, we don't need to change gear. We, 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 we can. Um, <laughs> up to 7th gear, but we are in a 40 limit and we'd be respecting it, although this car wants to go faster. Top speed in this is something like 180 miles an hour, which is utterly, utterly bonkers. Um, what you need, really, is a racing track or something like that. We're not roads around um, West Yorkshire where we are today. But nevertheless, what an experience, viewers. I am extremely happy for all of you who subscribe to let to get up to 11,000 and to be able to drive around in cars like this one. So viewers, did you buy a C7 Chevy Corvette? Well, um, yeah, if you can actually find one of these and you don't mind the left-hand drive, then uh, why not? I mean, this is completely ridiculous, this car, in every way. Left-hand drive only, um, huge amount of power, utterly, utterly ridiculous in every single way. Um, but, you know, we like it. And uh, thank you very much indeed once again for watching. Please don't forget to subscribe to the channel, like this video, and leave a comment below. Thank you again to um, Arthur for allowing me to drive this, which has got less mileage than the press cars would have had of the day. And uh, we shall see you again soon for more kind of short notice reviews.